Right, hey guys, uh, you can check it out. The uh, finished product here. I've just done. Got all the, uh, the plastic off it, and um, yeah, she's come up, come up pretty good. Super happy with it. Amazing thing is, I didn't get one run in it, and there's pretty much no dust in this long panel. That was the one I was worried about. And there's like zero dust in that, and. That can really stay as is. I don't even have to buff that. It can stay as is. Super happy. Um, yeah, you know, just goes to show you can do a good job at home, you know, in, in a shed. You just got to get your preparation down, make sure the place is, um, you know, swept out and, you know, put a little bit of water on the ground just to keep the dust down. And, um, you know, put some plastic over all your tools so you don't get stuff all over and uh no she's yeah come up really cool really happy i suppose the next thing now will just be um let it you know let it cure for a few days because it's going to be pretty soft um and then we can start um you know fitting out the inside probably start with the windows um you know get the front safaris in get all the side glass in and the rear hatch um the seats are all the way at the upholsters now and then um, they'll have to come in and do the the headlining, which is never a fun um, task. I've seen a couple get done, and yeah, it's it's actually quite quite physical work for them because they're working over their heads. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, looking really good, really happy. Uh, don't really see any flaws. I think there was one bug that I'll have to just you know give it a cut and rub, and it was on this rear quarter here. You can just see it there. There's a little, little tiny little, little. I'm not sure what it is. Little bug. But anyway, that'll come out. But I think that is it. There's actually nothing else in this, which is absolutely crazy. Thinking that you know, um, I sprayed my other 61 bus in a booth, and that thing had you know a little bit of junk here and there. This thing's got nothing in it. Like the red just came on with pretty much yeah zero junk. So. Yeah, super happy. Um, right, eh? Well, uh, we'll I'll get cracking, and uh, yeah, we can get the motor back in too. That's the other thing. I just got to do a bit of clean up on that, and um, then we can start putting all the seals in. And the fun part, as you know, with these things is you know you go and put your rubber, your rubber seals in these areas here, and then try and shut the doors, and they never ever work. You've always got to cut them back, and they're just a nightmare. And fitment. Fitment on these things is, you know, never easy, especially the front doors. They're an absolute nightmare to get flush with the rest of the panels. Um, I had heaps of troubles with mine, and I even went to the trouble of buying these um, U-Butte silicon ones from the UK, and they didn't even work. They were hopeless. They cost me a fortune, and I ended up just binning them because um, they're not adjustable, so we just could not get them to fit. So anyway, I've gone back with the Wolfberg West ones, which are um, the rubber style, and you can just trim them back with a blade and uh, get this section here so that they're nice and, you know, the right the right depth, and then your door will shut properly. Um, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll keep, keep going with the, uh, with the build, and, um, yeah, happy days. Righto, guys, we're going to um, install the safaris. I figured that'll be a good place to start. Um, you know, putting the bus back together. So um, I've got one seal down there. We'll just start with putting the seals in. I've actually got the windows down there ready to go. And um, yeah, another seal there. We'll go and pop those in and um, get these suckers screwed in. I'll chuck you on the tripod. <laughs> Okay, so we got the, uh, the rubber seals in, and um, they're all all good. 
Little note with the um, Safari is when you've got these brackets here and you actually um, weld them in, you've got to make sure you leave a bit of a, a gap for the um, seal to be able to, to pop in there. So yeah, don't go welding it up right along the seam here, otherwise you won't, you won't be able to push your seal in. Same with the side ones here. You just want to make sure you give it a bit of a gap. But uh, what I do normally with these ones is I just I actually put the, the joint at the top here because I figured that's probably going to be the least amount of water being able to get in, keep all this around here just as one piece. But as everybody knows that puts these things in, they all leak. It's pretty unlikely you're going to get a set that doesn't get some sort of drip on the inside. So, you know, if you're going to drive them in the... Drive them in the um, in the wet. You just got to have a towel inside and you know mop them mop them up. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, grab the frames. I'll get some uh, get the screws for them and um, get those get those mounted. <laughs> Okay guys, so we uh, got all the windows in. Um, with these new rubbers, they actually um, take quite a lot of pressure to actually lock lock your, um, your little uh, lockers, handles, I don't know what you call those things. Anyway, um, yeah, so you've got to put a bit of pressure on them to um, get them to lock, but obviously over time the rubber will um, sort of get conform into its shape. Um, but anyway, they're all in, so... I can show you guys how they work. Press the little button, lift up. Press the little button, lift up. And then you should just be able to push it from the inside. And up they come. Doing this one handed is difficult. There we go. And then obviously to put them in position, just do that. There we go. Uh, so, safaris are in. Uh, next thing I think I might just actually get the wiring um, loom back into its position and I've got that sort of tucked away behind there um, behind the front nose cone so I'll pull all that out take all the tape off the, um, the sections the little terminals and um, start putting them where they need to go then I can get the uh, front headlights into position and um, yeah just can continue with um, putting all the bits and pieces in the last job I want to tackle is putting the front doors on because I just figured I'll leave leave all the doors off it um, because we're going to get obviously the headlining in and it's just good not to have those things dangling the way. They'll be the last things that we put on I think. Um, same with the windows. Obviously won't put the windows in until the headlining's done because the material is going to go around the lip of all those. So anyway, fun times. Windows are in. Happy with that. The gaps are good. Had to fight this one a bit um, to get them to line up um, to get that you know nice gap around the windows. They're you know they're never perfect, um, 
and I've put you know four pairs of these in now and everyone's been totally different so this one fought me quite a bit to get them um, in the right shape uh, and um, yeah all right well we'll continue I'll start working on this electrics I think